What's up, people? I'm the Ace Exclusive, and thanks for tuning in for episode 17 of World at War Road to Prestige. Now, again, I'm just muting these people. Now, again, we're on a new map, or an another map from the map pack. Oh, I've got to stop saying new map, <laughs> because it obviously isn't new anymore. It's been out for years. Um, but it's an additional map from the map pack, and it's called Station. So it's basically an underground station. Um... Again, it is a big map. So you do need a full team, at least in this game. And I think it's better for like ground war, personally. But I'm going to try and be a bit stealth and try and take some of these out. I can see one up there, that is sniper. I want to try and get round there. I don't know how I even... I can't remember the ways to go. Stab him. See ya. Oh. Yes. I killed him and then died by that bloody grenade that he dropped. It's annoying. Alright. I'm going to try and do the same. I'm sure there's one over there. I'm going to try and keep... Yes, I got him as well. Awesome. I'm going to try and keep running up to the top. Because otherwise I'm just going to end up just dwindling around and finding no one. They'll, they'll spawn at one end, we'll spawn at the other. So it, just, it gets a bit silly otherwise. Need a bit of action in this map, so there's no point standing back and being reserved. But no, this, I do enjoy. I do really enjoy this map. There's so many places to go, hide, and do whatever you want. Like you can snipe. You can sort of go around like I am with the, the submachine gun and. And have a good night. Oh, oh yes, and have a good streak. It is. It is a very good map. But I think it's better if, like I say, if you can sort of really push on and be aggressive in your gameplay. You can see now. Look where I am. I'm running around this side, and you can go around here, go back through there. So many different doorways and rooms and. Sort of places to go from concourses and everything, it's just craziness. They've got to be up here, there's always one. Come on, I thought there'd be more than one actually, really. Like you'll find them sort of around the stairs, and but it looks like where our spawns have started to, to switch a bit. Alright, where are you? Come on. Love the detail of like the, the World at War maps. I mean it is just like being in like the war and sort of just really like the World War and sort of seeing what it was like. Sort of like the old station and trains and the places that's been bomb silly and a lot of people would hide out here and I think it's just I think it's great. Come on. No, that's shocking. He was hiding behind the pillar too much and I was still firing and wasting ammo. Let's try and pick this up a bit now and try and get a few more kills that Hoping I can get dogs. I, I hope to sort of at least get dogs once every game, you know. That's sort of my aim. And always try and obviously have <laughs> more kills than deaths as well. He's down. They're still coming that direction. I can see an orange dot. There he is. He's taking cover. And now he's down. Right, they're all over there. Sort of looking out. I don't know where to... 
I was waiting for them to jump around the corner. To get an idea of where they're all going. Because they'll all follow each other usually. Am I? Come on, one more shot. That's ridiculous. I was hoping to get another shot. I was trying to burst fire as well, but... And that's the end of him. Get him. Get him. Two of them. Both down. Both out. Now I've got my artillery strike. Hopefully I can... I'm just going to bring it in on the middle. Because there's no point doing it anywhere else in the map. Because there's no places to put the artillery strike. Because it's all obviously underground. So... But I have just got my dogs, and that was the aim. That was the aim of the game, so let's call them in. Give it a second, and then I'll get a couple of... Hopefully get a couple of kills, and then I'll call my dogs, and hopefully that'll help me get to another one. Once these other dogs have got come and gone. That's the only issue when you obviously get your kill streaks is that it's like you can't what the hell No Ooh, thanks God for the flat jacket. That's the only issue when you obviously when you play these games is that you have to wait for kill streaks to be called in and finished before you can get yours in. Sometimes like you can't get them in and the game ends before you can and it happens and it's a pain in the ass. but it's one thing I do like about the game is the fact that it's just, it's just three kill streaks. that's it. You can't have you can have obviously constant like a constant flow of them if you're quick enough. Oh no, I thought I was gonna shoot through the train. Yeah, you can have like a constant flow of like kill streaks if like each team has dogs, for like, or if each member of your team has dogs, and you just keep calling them in. But you can't all call them in at the same time, which is quite good. You can't have about four choppers in the air and like stealth strikes going on, and it just gets like hectic. I think all that, I think it takes away from enjoying the map, like actually just going out and killing. Because you've got all this going on and everything around you, it's just people that you get a lot of people camping and so on. I didn't even get my dogs in, but 20 and 6. Not bad considering it is quite a big map. I, I had hoped to be a bit more aggressive, but couldn't find anyone. So thanks for tuning in for another gameplay and be certain to come back for the next episode.